yes, major talking points. It's not just an entertainment scene, but across board, online, offline, the AMVCA nominations. We love our movies, don't we? Absolutely. We have joining us on the show this morning, someone who will walk us through all of those nominations, the high points, low points, controversies, and the rest. Elder Abidebi Dairo <laughs> joins me on the show. You actually said that. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Abidebi Dairo yeah. is our entertainment correspondent. Good morning, Abidebi. Welcome to the morning brief. Good morning, um, Coyote. Good Elder morning. Elder works for me, by the way. <laughs> Please, you, you need to stop that now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, Elder. Inside joke, inside joke. I'll for Abidebi, the nominations are out. I mean, a lot of people are talking about this. Some are excited because their faves are on it. Some others are like, no way. We know go agree, oh, we know go agree. Because our faves obviously aren't on that list. But speak to us, really. What do you make of the nominations? So I, um, I think, um, first off, it's um, as expected, it shows that um, it's another confirmation that um, Nollywood, as far as um, filmmaking is concerned in, on the black continent, yeah. Nollywood holds all the four aces. Um, you know, um, seeing how um, even uh, major categories, general categories, is Nollywood all the way, uh, yeah. sweeping, the, um, even in some of the, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, the um, best movie, the biggest prize of the night, um, right. it's all, um, Nollywood, Nollywood. all nominations then Nollywood and it's, it has not always been like that so it shows how Nollywood has grown you know initially um, see about eight ten years back um, um, you see Nollywood doing well in the acting categories but the technical categories you see other countries mm -hmm. like South Africa coming in and uh, you know um, sound um, cinematography lighting you see but it, it shows that Nollywood has grown and as a Nigerian you should uh, be proud of the industry you know um, to see how we are dominating Africa mm -hmm. in terms of filmmaking at some point, I was going to ask, will there be another edition for the other <laughs> African countries? But, yeah. I mean, when you look down, you see other nominations, mm -hmm. movies uh, from other countries. But good to see that. And I'm glad that it won't be like the Grammys. Since <laughs> all Nigerians were nominated in that movie, at least it will come to Nigeria. But we've seen some movies doing great stuff with the nominations. Movies like Over the Bridge, Mami Water. For those who stream movies, for those who are used to going to either the streaming platforms or box office, you'll probably be wondering, Mami Water, Over the Bridge, I have not seen that movie or those movies. So, Bidemi, how comes Over the Bridge, Mami Water, they stand out with 11 and 10 nominations, uh, respectively, but we've not seen those movies? Huh? 12 <laughs> and 11. Um, 12 and 11, 11 rather, yeah. Um, yes. So, um, these movies have been released limitedly um, outside. In Nigeria and um, in Africa, I don't think they've been released. So, um, some movie maf makers prefer to take their movies across um, festivals first. So, um, for instance, I know that um, Mami Water has screened at um, the Sundance International Film Festival, which right. is one of the B Absolutely. five film festivals. Um, I know that um, Over the Bridge has screened at um, um, uh, has screened in the UK. So they've had limited releases here and there. But um, I'm, I'm more surprised, especially for for Mami Water, with the level of nomination it has gotten. The reviews have been awesome across um, all of these um, festivals. Um, it's even Nigeria's own nomination for um, the Oscar award. So um, I'm not surprised at all um, with its um, um, performance, with performance in, the, in, in the nomination. And, and uh, you know, it's a typical arty movie, your typical arty movie, you know, shot in black and white. Um, it's, it's a typical African story. It tells the story of um, how Africans um, relate with nature and some of our beliefs and, and all of us. So, yeah, I think it's a, it's, and I'm, I'm rooting for it. I, I think it's going to take one of uh, either um, best director or best um, movie so, or best movie. So, um, since it's in that category, so it's a bit almost controversial to the lay person. The award is called Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards. How did a film that the viewers haven't seen that much make that level of nomination in terms of category of nomination? Do you understand my question? Yes, I, absolutely. So um, the AMVC is, is 10 this year. Um, when it started, it was um, a public voting um, um, affair, um, but uh, it's morphed um, recently into um, uh, the jury, they have a special jury that uh, determines um, nominations for some categories, and some categories are still thrown up for um, viewers voting. So, um, in terms of um, how uh, Mami Watada has not been released in, um, say, for public viewing, gets um, um, nominated in, in, in that category, it's, it's because it's, it's, it's been um, entered for the, um, for the awards, been um, entered into the, the awards. And um, 
it, it happens. It's, it's not just a, um, an AMVCA thing. It's not just an AMVCA thing. So um, yeah, it's, it's it's one of those things. No, no, because I'm I'm, I'm comparing it. Look at the Grammys, the four uh, artists of the year, record of the year, song of the year, all those big categories. At least we should hear those records. Not necessarily that we vote for those records. We should see those movies, even if we're not voting. I know it has morphed into beyond voting, but at least we need to see what the technical decisions have been made. Let it not look like an exclusive preserve. So this looks like a bit of a blight in decision making, if you ask me. Yes, yes, yes. it's difficult to argue with that point, um, honestly, but um, as it stands, um, it, it is what it is. It, 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 it is what it is, so yeah. I just wanted to say that you know, <coughs> maybe the jury also view us anyway, so in terms of viewers' choice, it could also suffice, absolutely. Hey, well, there are more surprises as far as the nominations are concerned, Videmi. I, I don't know if you're following the commentary, as Karadi mm -hmm. had said, some are saying we know go grill, for <laughs> instance, movies like A Breath of Life that got fantastic reviews, uh, you know, when it began streaming earlier in the year, movies like Amefuna, they're saying, oh, why didn't Amefuna make best uh, movie category, why didn't uh, the actor in uh, Breath of Life make best actor in that category? What are your thoughts on it? What, in, what are the elements really that inform the decision of the, the jury in, in arriving at these nominations? So yeah, um, speaking about Breath of Life, Wale Oju um, made um, the best actor category exactly. and um, if, if you've seen that um, movie you, you would see yeah, um, that Wale Oju actually um, killed Daru. He went from being a stone-hearted human being to um, modern day Bishop Kuka, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you understand, uh, to the point where he essentially laid his life down for his protege, you know, so uh, you, you, you can't fault um, the um, the nomination for him in that category, but like every award, you know, it's just limited slots for um, an area of a lot of people who have done excellently well. Everybody cannot fit into all of those categories. So yeah, and there's always going to be questions about, oh, why is this person not there? Why is my favorite not there? Why is this person not there? But overall, I think um, there's nobody on that best actors list that I don't think deserves to be there. So let's talk about diversity now. Um, how much of the women Brought, brought their A game when we look at the nominations this time by your assessment in terms of all the big categories besides you know best actor that are exclusive for gender so you look at every other one that accommodates any gender let's talk about directors and producers so um, I'm um, a bit disappointed that um, when you look at the best director list um, it has no female um, in there and it's it's quite disappointing too because um, when you look at the overall best movies you have um, two movies directed by women you have um, Olufumila or Ransom Kuti by uh, Bolan Leosin Peters that is not also out yet mm -hmm. and you have um, of course um, the box office queen um, uh, from Kea Kendele, who directed mm -hmm. um, a tribe of a Judah, tribe called, Judah. Tribe called a tribe Judah. called Judah, you know, and uh, unfortunately, both of them did not make it to um, the um, best director um, category. And it, it, it begs the question: What are some of the categories for selecting um, um, the um, best overall best movie and, and, and best director? And um, speaking about um, how women are fed in the industry, if you look at Nollywood, which is um, perhaps now like um, the foundation for filming in Africa, you see that. Most of our female movie producers are actually doing very well. As, as a matter of fact, Bolan Leo St. Peters highlighted that um, over the weekend when she was at the um, MBA's um, Women Forum, where she spoke about how um, females are doing very well in, in, in Nollywood. So um, it's quite um, disappointing that even though locally in Nollywood we see, we see the work that they're doing, um, that unfortunately this time around um, they couldn't um, get to the finals of the Best Director category. Okay. I think that's a lot of work that needs to be done in that area. Again, the debate is always out there. Let it be on merit. Merit, if, yes, if absolutely. If that's what the jury or those selected think, so be it. Who do you predict to be the biggest winners of, of the night? I, I, know, I know you have your favorites, but as we approach that night, which of the movies? Yes, lots of nominations, but which do you see being like maybe the biggest winners of the night? So it's it's a it's going to be a tough call um, because um, some of these movies are not out, you know. Um, but um, there's so much um, um, about um, Mami Water in itself. Um, it's it's such it's a movie that has been described in 
with such um, beautiful Flower words, and, and, and you understand. So I expect my water to do very, very well, you know. Um, over the Bridge, I was reading a review of Over the Bridge from um, when it's screened in the UK, and um, somebody described it as um, a, a movie with clear depiction of deliberate emotions. And you know, for what filmmakers expect after creating these movies to see how it could resonate with viewers and evoke emotions and all of that. So if it has that ability uh, to get reviewers to, um, to, to um, put it on that pedestal, that I expect it also to do very well. And um, getting 12 nominations, as in leading the pack in terms of nomination and knowing the caliber of people that are on that um, screening judge, um, the judges on the screening yeah. panel, uh, I, 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 I know that it must be a very good movie. Now, you made an interesting observation at the start when you talked about how Nollywood has emerged, you know, even in those categories that were unexpected that used to be taken you know, by the other African countries. What are the things that Nollywood uh, is doing differently this time and how can it be sustained you know, such that this prominence in the, in the technical areas is uh, sustained? So I think um, the first thing is um, there's improved investment. I don't think it's enough, but I think there's improved investment. I think there's improved capacity. And there's, um, when there's enough investment, there's um, ability to collaborate. Um, so um, we're seeing um, a lot of Nigerian film producers um, going out to collaborate with um, people who have better capacity, people who have better experience, people who have done bigger projects. Like for instance, again, and I keep going back to um, CG Obasi's My Water. CG Obasi's My Water um, is a product is a product of three production company one um, from Nigeria mm. one from um, I think France and another from um, the UK so you could see how um, um, capacity uh, professionalism and all of that is coming together to um, enhance one product and uh, and says um, same goes for some of the other filmmakers and other producers so yes um, there's improved um, capacity there's improved funding but do I think that um, the industry is exploiting all of the opportunities available with all of the noise that we're hearing about in Hollywood, with all of the accolades and all of that. I think it's a straightforward no. You know, uh, when you look at what this industry is able to generate, we are a country of over 200 million people. Yeah. Um, just recently, we got um, over a billion naira in the box office. A country of 200 million people, a billion naira. If you break it down mathematically and say, okay, with an average of three to 5,000 naira ticket, Ticket price. No, it's twenty seven thousand to watch that movie. So but if you look at it on the average, yeah. maybe you go to my one wife and I got said, in key. I remember very well. You, you understand? And it even makes it even <laughs> No, Jeffrey got five star treatment. Of course, of course. <laughs> and it's, he deserves it. He does. You know? yeah. Yeah. So but I'm um, back to the point. If you look at it, it it meant it meant like that uh, perhaps um, the ticket sold is way less than um, two hundred thousand tickets. In a country of 200, over 200 million people, I don't think it's 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 um it's enough. It's, it's, so so uh, just just before we, we wrap up, I, I see have a problem though. Uh, it's my view, and I'm sure our views are because you may see this play out on that night. If over the moon or my mother, over, 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 over the bridge, over the bridge. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's why people watch it, right? If over yes, the bridge or uh, uh, my mother wins this award, you're going to see the reaction because it's going to be like, uh, 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 not like a jungle jungle, not like a tribe called Judah. Just for the fact that we can see what These happens. movies are also in contention anyway. It's not just yes. between uh, Mamu Water no, no, or no, no, over the bridge. The, 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 the debate is about let at least see as a people. Let it be streamed or in cinemas, that's the, not this uh, exclusive uh, premieres or screen. Yep, angry. No, no, no. You're going to see. Just yeah. watch what will happen you, that you night. You understand? Yeah, yeah I agree with you. Because be people to want to see. relate. Uh -huh. People want to yeah. relate to it and say, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I knew when I saw this. this that what was going to win. You understand? So people want to. You can't force. Anyway, without so much, I'm going to ask the question about we need to step up beyond this to begin to find ourselves on the Oscar. What do we need to do in 30 seconds? The Oscars is an American award. While it's fine to, to get... Um, yeah, Europeans win the Oscars. Yes, they have um, categories. Um, they have international categories. And, um, of course, we've pushed, um, we've pushed three movies, if three movies um, are up for nomination. They didn't eventually get nominated into the Oscars. Like, Mamu Water in itself was um, nominated by the Nigerian Oscar Committee, you know. But I, I, I don't think it's All a right. validation yeah. if, of, of our okay. industry. All right, there I, I you like go. That, Just like to put it on record is. that, you know, for best movie, there's a tribe called you that there's a black book, there's Breath of Life. Breath of Life. Right, there's Blood Vessel, which a lot of people would have seen as well. So just to put that on record. But 
<laughs> Midaira. I'll take yeah, out the L. Midaira. Midaira. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving us an insight. At least we understand better uh, some of the factors that uh, you know came to play in these nominations. And of course, we'll be looking forward to the big nights. Good to always have you on the show. It's always yes, good to indeed. be here. <laughs> and let's remind you yet again before we go that uh, the kidnapped Edo PDP chairman, Anthony Aziegbami, has regained his freedom and is back with his family. Uh, the special advisor, media projects to Edo State Governor, Mr. Cruzo Ogsagi, confirmed this to Channel Television in a telephone interview. Uh, the Edo chairman, PDP chairman, was abducted on Friday, March 15, close to his house, a long country home in Benin City, the state capital. But Cherry News and a good way to end that he has been released. And what a day it's been, fulfilling for a journalist to be able to tell a number of good stories. And we hope to tell more good stories in the week ahead. Thank you so much for watching the program today. Join us again tomorrow. We will be back. I am Bukola Koka. Absolutely. So it's, uh, that's been the journey. Midweek edition comes out tomorrow. Stay with us right here on Channel Television. Of course, Sunrise Daily is up next. I'm Jeffrey Uzama. And I'm Kyle Kikolo. Even if you don't get nominated for awards, keep working at it, all right? That's what matters. Do your best. I'm Kairo Kikili. Yet again, goodbye.